This is a very, very rare book. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Day two of rearranging everything. All things hip. We got the 6.9 running. That was kind of fun. Man, that thing drives amazing now. Uh, I've replaced pretty much the whole front of the fuel system. This is a 1976 450 SEL 6.9 AMG with the actual AMG motor. Fuel distributors like seized. Like this plate right here will not move at all. This is all of the fuel parts that we had sent to get rebuilt on our 450. That was an awesome win for us. So this guy is running and driving pretty well. We're gonna do an alignment on it. But it runs fine. Oh yeah, it runs fine. Uh, we've got a, a fuel pressure accumulator on the way because when you go to start it the first time, it takes a little while for the fuel pressure to build up and then it starts. But once it's running, it's mint. Um, we got a whole new fuel system for it. Like I'm talking new pumps, new filters, uh, fuel distributor, we, we had one rebuilt. For what car? The Green Lorenzer. Cause it was idling real rough and we found a whole bunch of like rust and debris in the fuel system. So we bought eight new injectors. The car's so nice, you know, why not just go a little bit further and make everything on it just. Uh, moving on, this one. Oh my God. I don't know if Victor's leaving up to the YouTube chat or what's going on, all the comments, you know, maybe he's gonna tally them up. If we actually save this thing or not. This is the Eddie Murphy car. Yeah. Uh, I've heard Anthony, you know, crush it. You know, Victor wants to save it. I think it'd be cool to save it. Did you, you know? see that comment of the guy saying that Eddie Murphy bought two 500 SECs from SGS? He was saying he like spoke to Chris Hahn when he bought it like mm -hmm. 20 years ago mm -hmm. to make sure that it was real and whatever. And he was like, yeah, there was a gold one, blah, blah, blah. Honest to God, this is the one I want to work on next. This thing is just cool. It's a 350 SLC target top. It's got a four speed manual. That interior is rough though. Yeah. Because when you look it up by the VIN um, at the dealer, they're like, oh, it's a naturally aspirated engine. And I'm like, well, it's a turbo. So we're looking up like 300 SDLs and vehicles that we would know have a turbo to try and find parts for the like the seals and all that. That's pretty much it with this guy. What's wrong with it? It just doesn't have proper... Well, it's just leaking oil. Like you can see right here, it's just dripping oil out of it. That's the turbo. So I mean, once we solve that, this thing will be good to drive around, rip around. It's already a fun car to drive around in. But for now, this thing's leaking oil like crazy, so. <laughs> What's going on? Oh man, we're wrapping up this G-Wagon now. Um, we replaced the water pump on it. It was a fun learning experience for sure. Me and Lewis just going at it. I mean, he hadn't seen one of these vehicles in like, what, 30 years? You know, so it was fun. But easy job, and it's going back together. Right. It's probably something super, super simple. Some of these cars, if you just put it in the park, it won't actually crank. I don't know exactly why, maybe somebody in the comments can tell me exactly what has happened, but you have to put it in a park and actually roll the car back and forth until like the park the pole Clear catches yeah. and then it'll crank. So, cool. Told you, there's something simple. Packages arriving from all over the planet. This is a very, very rare book. Nobody, nobody realizes how important these books are. Every one, every single one I found on eBay, I bought it, and I bought some on some thrift stores. Very, very rare book, guys. Here it is, once again. Extremely rare and great, amazing book. And you know it's a good book by when you turn the pages. The first car you see is a SGS Goldwyn. Historic book. There's a whole section on SGS Styling Garage. Look at this rare band I just pulled up. Look at this. Look what I just opened up the page to. Come on, man. This is insane. The SEL W126 turned into a SEC and then turned into a Gullwing. And it's the Sparrow. Very, very rare. Very rare. So this car is on the way from Saudi Arabia right now. So what cars were you saying are pending to come in? Man. S72, E60 Brabus, 190E Carrot from Japan. K 
Kareth, Kareth du Châtelet. I hate that fucking name so much. I can't no, it's actually it's 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 Kareth by du Châtelet. Yes, you're right. It's Kareth by du Châtelet. So du Châtelet is the guy's designer, and Kareth is like the. So the these guys, section. these guys, if you guys never heard of them, they used to, and they still do. Not only cars, they do interiors of private jets. So that's how you know you get some of the highest standard. Right? And they also, they also are experts at bulletproofing vehicles as well. There you go. So they're my best friend. Right? <laughs> Thank you, my brother. On the way from Japan, also S72 wide body. You've never seen it. Coop. Yes. C140. Yes. From Japan. Yes. On the way as well. And another E60 um, sedan. 60 500E. You know, it's just too easy, guys. I mean, this is what we do. Um, we're just trying to spread the knowledge and the love for these cars, just like these books. You know, we want to bring back the culture in a serious way, and we want to preserve it. Look, I opened the book on Koenig. That's just that's how you know. I mean, I opened the book and I'm instantly on the Koenig page. And these books, guys, are very underappreciated. These books are eight dollars, nine dollars. Like you pay more for lunch. You go shit it out. I mean, this is like history right here. So feed your brain. Yes, feed your brain, guys. Stop, feed your fucking brain. Stop eating McDonald's and eat some some books. All right. Today's a special day, guys. We're at the stadium and we're reorganizing everything. Everything's a mess inside. All the cars are all over the place. Nothing is organized. So we're gonna go in there with the team, bring all the cars out, and then bring them in one by one and reorganize everything. Let's go. So right now we're pulling all these out because we're gonna have all the SLs back on this wall lined up. So I'm gonna clear this space, then we'll bring all the SLs and just organize them. Then pull all the cards we got over there and take it like that for right now. <laughs> Yeah, 7.4 Rentec, one of the first in the collection as well. Got it from Bring a Trailer. We kind of need a passageway, like we need one ring all around where we can where move we the can kids, cars yeah. in and out. Right, so we could, depending on what's left, I gotta take a look, we could have the SL facing like, nah, that would take a while. Yeah, yeah, it nice. seems like no gas. The light's on. That's a no gas dude. 954 muffler shirt? Of you just came from Germany, that's what you're wearing? Of course. Oh you my. saw my license plate in Germany, right? Yeah, I like that. Yes, 954 had to do it. Why is there so much space between these? Gold because them. we need to get into these cars. Doesn't matter. At least move them. Like this one is good. Yes, but this one needs a bit more space because this one is a 74. If the door scratch or dent on that, that's the fiasco. But I'm pretty much the one getting in and out these cars. So yeah. yeah, as long as you can fit, yeah, that's, that's good. good. We need the first SL to be right against this wall. I know, that's what I'm saying. We're going to move that one to the no. Put your car here. You're dipping your truck. No, we're going to have all the silver ones together. The silver ones are all going to be bunched together. Okay, we'll start them here. That doesn't work, so all the same. So kind of how to identify an SGS SEC uh, drop top is here, the frame. We could, but why? I have plenty 126s already sitting in Germany. Are they any of them chopped already? No, but that takes like two days. How much does it cost? Well, two day rate for a shop and everything, materials oh, and everything. Okay. Yeah. That's how long it takes to take it off to complete the conversion, it's gonna take longer. But so for SGS vehicles, the steel reinforcement, what they do is, there's an entire steel frame that is inserted below because the rigidity on top is no longer there. And there's like this bar right here. Legend. Fine. <laughs> well, fuck. <laughs> this shit won't even go into the, the part. 
Oh, drive? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you go. <laughs> ah! Fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move all the 107s and SLCs, which are also 107s, right here. And then after that, we can figure out what we're gonna do. So the 190s and all that, they're gonna be that zipper, essentially. Once we move those, we can remove everything from that middle pack. There's also the red uh, ABC that's coming here. R107, yes, 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 that's coming. This one, that's three. So we got enough room, we can keep going. I like this angle though. Let's start here, move this one, and then boom, 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 and then whatever's left, you line up. Yo, this should be here. Like this is enough room when we come in here, like this will be all the way back, so you're gonna have this will be open. Mm. All that room. But yeah. it should be like all the way here so we have that extra space in here. Nah, I got you, yeah. <laughs> Pump the gas. Glad we found the keys. Oh, it's dying. Yeah. Yeah, it died. Pack's dead. All right, guys, that's it for day one. We got a lot done, but we're not finished yet. We're going to be back here in the morning. We did the 129 section and the 107 section, and we reorganized a couple things for tomorrow. But we'll be back tomorrow for the finishing and the wrap up of the big, big, big stadium. Let's go. Daniel. Whipping it. Sergio. Whipping it. I had to, man. I don't get many chances to whip it like that. Yeah. All right, I shall move it. God, I love this car, man. No, bro. What's up, guys? We're back in the stadium, and it's day two of rearranging everything. So we got the guys already pushing around the carrot. 6-0 wide body. So let's get to it. The wheels on this car are so ugly, dude. Yeah. But the rest of the car is so sick. Not in play, boy. Right, no go. life. But if I remember right, Victor said this is like the lowest mileage example. Yeah, 48,000. 4,800 kilometers. 4,800 kilometers. Yeah. That's nuts. Because the the guy who bought this car like backed it into a parking pole or something when yeah. it was new and it cracked the bumper and like rather than getting it fixed he just never drove it again because he was like mad about it. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean oh did you hear that fresh of air? Look at that. Oh shit. <laughs> Nothing for sale. Nothing for sale, boss. <laughs> Nothing for sale. I yes, love yes. in the forums now because yeah. I, I put up my shit and then everyone would be like, other people would be like, anything for sale. And then other people would come in like, Nothing for sale. Nothing for sale. Everyone's like defending them. Like, it's a culture. Like, they already know. You know? It's, it's got to spread like that. It just sounds so good. Nothing for sale. Right? Like, yeah, you see how period. he's staring past us. He's like, fuck you That's pretty good, honestly. I would just leave it there, bro. You're pretty good. Perfectly lined up. I don't need to look! Perfectly lined up. In one swing. Another gimbal. I'm live right now. Tapping in with my people. Vintage Benz Collector, the biggest to ever do it. Don't ever get a twisted weirdo. My guy Sergio. Do I have to find the key? 
Mikey again? Like this car move? Yes, you did, bro. Your, uh, Was this the car you lost it in? No. Nah. Can we check all the cars that leave? We might have a chance to find. Them. I know, I know. Happens. Daily shit. All right, so game plan 190, so let's move them. Let's just, we'll find the key eventually, but we're not doing any good by just looking for it. All right. I just want to get an idea visually how big our lane's going to be to drive through. That's why I had to put the car here. Other way. Stop. All that shit is way too long, bro. Like it needs to pull out like this. You just move one car and you can pull them all out like this. Like strings, straight out, all that way. Instead of making 10 turns, you're pulling all of them out like this way. Even behind there, once one limo is gone, you can pull straight out there. You have all the keys? Yeah. Hurry, 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 the drop, the drop. We got a lot done. We arranged all the 190Es. We arranged most of the 126s. Uh, one of the, one of the people moving the cars yesterday lost the key to the 126.60, so we couldn't move it. So we're gonna have to get that key banged out before we do anything else. But yeah, we got rained out, so we didn't finish everything we want to do today, which is a bummer because I really want to get everything over with. But it is what it is, man. Living the life of the biggest, you know, you got to deal with certain things that get thrown your way. So it is what it is. Um, I guess we're gonna have to come another time and finish it off. Checking out.